Well, this is it. We've officially reached the midway point of Sturgeon 2015. Four weeks in, the finale party in Stockholm is looming on the horizon. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa! Living on a prayer! Thanks, guys. Week four began with some very special guests. The first commercial computer game ever made in Sweden was called Sturgen, and one of its creators, Vigo Kahn, and his father Heinrich visited our Sturgen to talk about how it was made. Their insights have been discussed at breakfast every day since then. On Wednesday, two publishers stopped by Sturgen to give some valuable insights into the do's and don'ts of publishing deals. Gordon Van Dyke and Jonathan Tonson from Raw Fury Games spent many hours talking to the teams and sharing their experiences, and many hastily scribbled notes were made. Never let it be said that our developers are one-trick ponies, though. Robin decided that night to set up his hardware game, Line Wobbler, which uses a doorstop and an LED strip to task players with killing a gaggle of snaky baddies. Bjorn, meanwhile, decided to go one step further and defy death itself, putting on a spectacular fire show by the lake to earn him the nickname Sturgen Stuntman. Simon, at the same time, brought down his LED lights so everyone else could have a go at being equally as cool without fear of singeing their eyebrows. We were not as cool. It also rained a lot, we sauntered in a thunderstorm, and we worked on filming the next set of game spotlights for the channel. Wait, you, you're not meant to see this? N n no, oh, n oh, fine. The wind got in the microphone, so Clint and I had to dub some of our chat in a little homemade studio. Yes, I believe the word you're looking for is consummate professionalism. We'll see you next week.